Hello and welcome back on Seeking Watch. Today I have a Pernice. You probably heard about this Chinese special and Pernice is one of them. This one here has a small problem. Okay, but first let's take a quick look. The strap here is quite substantial and the movement here is a Seagull 1690. This is what I could find with some pattern, in general reliable movement and very popular movement. But I have one problem with it. There is here, this is the GMT hand and unfortunately it should change the hour every time when the minute hand pass 12 o'clock. But it doesn't and the date change. So the date changes, but the hour GMT doesn't changes. So yeah, I think I know something is broken. Something is stuck. It happens to me when I was changing the GMT hour with this pusher, this upper pusher. And when I'm pushing it now, as you see, it doesn't, doesn't happen anything. And here the date. everything works perfect as you can see no air coating so i have to live with that and when i look carefully on this pusher i think this one is a little bit deeper in this hole so it could be something something stuck but in general finishing of the case i'm quite impressed i must say i must admit this Anyway, I have to disassemble this watch and before I do this, let's test it on a time grapher and let's see its performance. Okay, 30 seconds per day, I think it could be improved. Unfortunately, I don't know the lift angle here of this movement. Not too many information about single movements. Okay, let's start this assembly and let's see what the problem is. Is there something broken? Something stuck? I think. Uh, rather something is broken. We will see. Here's some dirt. Now the movement holder. Plastic and here are also these pushers Always a good idea is to remove the rotor before we go forward The movement looks quite clean isn't too big as we can see comparing to the whole case quite a lot of air inside I think I'm probably the first person who is doing a disassembly or a full service of a single movement and a Parani's watch never seen on YouTube Maybe there is something, I don't know. But if you are interested, I hope you stay till the end. And this will be a first part because the second part uh, will be done later. It is quite complicated movement as you will see in a moment. Because we have here GMT. Here is the date with the subdale. So I think there is quite a lot of parts inside. And here the pusher end, it seems that everything works. Let's check it. And yeah, well, now it works. So 
actually I have no idea what was wrong here is also a wheel that changes that changes the date also works so when I am so far I think I should make a full service of it let's start this is simply with the balance and hey DJ DJ are you there let's play some music because it's quite boring and quiet here in this room maybe let's play some jazz uh, in this way you rather shouldn't uh, remove the tension on the main spring here is a spring that you should release it's quite simple Okay, pellet fork is there. No, I don't need the winding stem. The wheel bridge. This will be the first part, and in the second part, I will make a full assembly. So, just in case, if you would like to also service this watch, or you are some hobby watchmaker who is also some additional bridge, you have to remove it. You will see everything step by step. Here are the wheels. Escape wheel. Uh, sweep second pinion. And this lever is for stop second. And this is the spring uh, which you should release when you would like to release the tension on the main spring. This I will make later, that's simple, yeah? But this wheel I will also remove. And now the top plate, which I think is quite complicated. We have here quite a lot of screws. So, could be, it will be a little bit challenging. Let's remove this part. White. And yeah, here is quite a lot of levers and plates. So I have to all this have to remember where the parts go. And one wheel is even a plastic wheel. I don't like plastic wheels, but yeah, they also do their job. And with this lever we change the GMT hour and maybe it's too short maybe there broke something I will inspect it and we will see this later now this okay and here we have another plate, plate which we should to remove. Uh, and it is holded by three screws. And actually that's the main plate and here we have the killer's work and all the gears uh, this one is fixed here we have some washer and the killer's work I will also this is a symbol of camera you will see uh, all steps when I will assemble it not too many parts there so we don't need to worry about that. And yeah, this one is fixed, so this one will to have to stay. This is for the date. And the killer's work it doesn't look very complicated, but here is the additional bridge. And here we have the winding mechanism, quite similar to Orient movements, to old Orient movements. I don't know if this is some clone. 
looks like that anyway so so it is built that's the parts I have now to clean the whole watch the whole parts and I hope to see you again in my next videos in the next episode when I will assemble the whole movement of this Pawnee's GMT thanks for watching remember to subscribe take care bye bye